I'm in the Oasis Araripe Reserve by Aquasis in the state of Xerá in northeastern Brazil. This reserve was created to protect the Araripe mannequin, a critically endangered bird. Hi, I'm Bennett Hennessy, the Brazil Program Coordinator for American Bird Conservancy. Hi, I'm Weber Silva, Oasis Araripe Reserve Manager. Hi, I'm Karina Linhares, Reforestation Coordinator. So this is the home to the Araripe mannequin. This is the Chapala de Araripe, an escarpment between the plateau and the lowlands. So in this entire region is, is the Caatinga, a very dry, bushy area that has a very strong dry season. All the water from this plateau, it's sort of tilted, and it all drains down to the escarpment. And so what happens throughout the entire year is that there's this moist forest that grows all along the edge. It's sort of a moist forest with some Amazonian species and some Atlantic forest species. But because of human impact, more and more this area has sort of been destroyed and cut. So it's now sort of relies on this very thin line that comes along. Sort of an ideal situation, you have a Weber, who's an ornithologist, who studies the bird and knows everything about the bird, and Karina, who's a botanist, who understands everything about the habitat. And these sort of two uh, knowledge bases coming together to create the, the best sort of protection plan for a species. So here we're at the Oasis Araripe Reserve Nursery, and uh, Karina is going to show us what they've been up to. So when was this built? 2020. 20. So yes. it's two years, two years old right yes. now. Yes. We see a lot of plants here. How many plants do we have growing right now? We have about 1,500 plants, plants now here. So how many species are here? We have about 16 species. 16 species. Here. So one of the projects that Karina has been doing now is looking at plants that fruit during the dry season. If those plants can produce, they will offer fruit for the species during the dry season, the hardest period, and then they can sort of, sort of manage their reserve and other areas so there's more fruit available for this threatened species. In this place, mm -hmm. we don't have many nursery plants mm -hmm. producing that kind of fruit. Right. You have to collect these fruits, process these fruits. It's sort of assisting the germination of the seed. And how, yes. how do you do that? You, we have to try. In some cases, we don't know how to do because right. there's no knowledge about these fruits and we try. Sometimes it's successful and sometimes it doesn't. I'm, I'm imagining from my knowledge that some seeds need to pass the gut of a bird and then that sort of prepares it to, to germinate. Is, is that kind of what you're trying to simulate in, yeah, the, in some sometimes, ways? Yeah, sometimes. And sometimes we're scratching uh, the fruits on sandpaper uh -huh. and to accelerate the, the process. How many species are you doing that with? About 20 species. species. And what kind of success have you had with germinating those seeds? Just three. Sometimes we have some difficult with fruits that are eaten by birds because their seedings uh -huh. are very small right. and we have to use different kinds of treatments. The, the other ones are dispersed by wind. The Araripe mannequin prefers the plants that are along the streams. Okay. So we have trees and shrubs. We are trying to collect and produce seedlings by shrubs because they grow up faster. We will uh -huh. plant these seedlings at the beginning of the rainy season because right. they will have more chance to survive. Right. So there's a clear rainy season December to... March. This is our Heflore Stadium. Here we have the place where we assist the seeds germination. Here we have a uh, plant, uh, seeds, uh, fruits and seeds uh, from Mutamba. There is a tree that grow up very fast. So we use frequently in uh, reforestation. These are Cicero Nascimento and Ludmila, our biology students here that help the project. This plant is a part of the Araripe Mannequin Reforestation Project. This is Timbaúba fruit that we have on the seedling nursery. This is fruit of Pau Jangada. This is Tingui. 
É, o soldadinho do Araripe é uma espécie que gosta da água. Ele precisa da água para reproduzir e para ter o alimento. Boa parte dessa água existe em grandes fontes, são disputadas pelas pessoas para o abastecimento das casas, mas também para encher piscina, água gramado. Nessa disputa, o pássaro sai perdendo. Porém, existem pequenas fontes d'água que possamos conseguir a água que o animal é, vai ter acesso para fazer o seu ciclo. Nessa propriedade aqui, e nós temos cerca de 10 ou mais pequenas fontes, que são chamadas olhos d'água, e essas fontes nós precisamos trabalhar para que nela aconteça a reprodução do pássaro, e assim ampliar esse potencial de água que existe na região para beneficiar a reprodução da espécie. Se nós conseguirmos, ao junto dessa água, plantar as espécies que ele se alimenta, isso vai melhorar o território dele. A cada 100 metros de, desses canais, a gente tem potencial para ter um ninho. É de, de 100 em 100 metros, a gente tem cada vez um território novo da espécie. As modalidades do, do, de pagamento por serviços ambientais incluem os programas de produção de água, onde nós recebemos do município do Crato um pagamento para que as florestas continuem prestando seu serviço de captar a umidade e fazer as águas correrem para os rios. Here you have this wonderful big mango tree that you're killing. Why are you doing that? The mangoes are um, exotic species, so you have to take off then to plant native species here. And, and what, but why? Like, what harm does do mangoes cause? When the leaves fall on the ground and they spread these toxins, prevents the growth of the native species. We ring it, this, the, the mangoes and to accelerate the death. And we wait about a year. After that, we plant. On the Oasis Aripe Reserve, how many mangoes have you had to kill? More than 300. And for each each mango that's killed, would it sort of be replaced by one tree, do you think? Or more, more than, than one? More than one. And are there other sort of introduced species that need to be removed as well? Uh, we also remove the bamboo in here, uh, in Oasis Araripe. A perda do hábitat é uma das principais ameaças à conservação do soldadinho do Araripe. E essa perda do hábitat também ocorre, além do desmatamento, por ocasião do fogo. Combater incêndios é muito importante para garantir a integridade das unidades de conservação. Nosso projeto também tem recursos para manter pessoas é, treinadas e, e aptas, é, disponíveis para combater incêndio e temos não só no, no equipamento e na estratégia para prevenir esses incêndios, para quando o fogo acontecer, nós estarmos mais preparados. Como você envisiona os elementos futuros desse projeto? Primeiro de tudo, nós precisamos by land to uh, increase the habitat of the Arctic monarchy. When you buy other lands, mm -hmm. we have to increase this nursery because we have to produce more. I mean, would you think it would be to make another one the same size? Yes, okay. I think so. Huh. Double, the, the, Double. The, the, the size. Okay. At least. Uh, what Aquasis wants to do now is expand the protected areas for the species. I think this is the highest priority as we see more and more urban impact on the habitat. And so to make sure that we can protect enough habitat for the long-term future is really important. And especially their approach, so it would be purchasing land, but then cleaning out sort of like the mangoes as we showed and making, improving the habitat for the species and of course all the other species.